We are at the 2022 Florida RV Super Show. And of course we had to make a stop at the Grand Design section. Mm -hmm. And we decided it would be kind of fun for us to take a tour of the 2022 Momentum 397TH, which yep. is the model that we have. And see all of the differences they've done in three, four or five years. Yeah. Four years. Math is hard. <laughs> We're going to show you the changes that they've made, most of the stuff that we like, but we are going to point out a couple of things that we don't like. Like usual in a tour, we're gonna to start and do nose to tail. And I'm just gonna get the one thing out of the way that we really don't like that much. Let's knock that out. They added a second door. And for us, we don't really care for that. Some people might like it. For us, we don't really think we need it because this door's right here, <laughs> this door's here, and you know the do other door's right next to it. So, just a waste of space. I do like the changes that they made in the bathroom other than that door though, so we'll get to those in a second. But come on into the bedroom. And let's talk about some of the changes in here. The first one is probably pretty obvious to you. If you remember seeing our previous tour videos of our rig, this space here is so much bigger now. Huge. And that's because they made the bedroom slide much deeper. Do you know how, how much deeper? It's quite a bit. About that much. About that much, good job. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a lot more space right here, which I like. I could even do some yoga right yeah, there. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Another change that I really like, and I know Chad likes it too, is this. Oh, that's Ta -da. cool. This is actually something I asked for, so I appreciate that they put that in there. Thanks, Lance. Thanks, Lance. And the rest is about the same as what we have right now. Mm-hmm. Because they added this second door here and this door is a pocket door, that means that they had to get rid of this whole storage cabinet space right here, which as you guys know, I have that thing crammed full of stuff. <laughs> so much so that Chad actually built shelves for me in the cabinets and um, on the one big shelf that was there. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, but they tell me that the way they redesigned the wardrobe situation, that they actually gave more storage in the closets. So let's turn around and look at that. With ours, we have one big closet and then a separate closet over here at an angle that holds our washer and dryer. Well, now they have two separate closet spaces, really deep, pretty large. And, and drawers. these drawers are huge. Yeah, that's nice. Yes. And then they also added these storage cubbies that the light doesn't have to be yellow, guys. I'm not a big fan of that yellow light, <laughs> but that, that light can be on or off and it can be any color you want it to be. Where's the washer and dryer go, you ask? Ta-da! That will slide either direction. If you don't have a washer and dryer, that's a ton of storage. That is a ton of storage. And then the other closet over here, same size, lots of storage space, more drawers. Our rig does not have USB ports on each side of the bed like this one does. Mm -hmm. Thankfully they do that now, I like it. And then there's still the under bed storage. Wow, that's a lot lighter than ours. Well, we have a heavier mattress. I know. <laughs> so this the storage actually, isn't as much storage under there as ours. What yeah, do you think you, that's for? Well, you, you lose a little bit because the slide goes out further. Oh. The, the bed's further in the slide this way. Oh, that makes sense. This is the first time I lifted the bed up. The storage underneath the bed isn't as much as the storage that we have because we don't have this big cube. Our bed comes out to about here, right? Mm -hmm. So we have this whole space that is for storage, whereas that isn't as deep. So that is a downside. Everything's a trade-off. Yeah. Okay, so the toilet is now on this side versus over here. Which is kind of one of our beefs because toilet, where Tara sleeps. Toilet, 
where Tara sleeps. <laughs> and if you've lived in an RV for long enough, you know that bathroom noises are a real thing and you can't escape them. <laughs> the shower is different, which I really like. This is deeper, right? But this part is pretty cool. Yeah, that could almost be a little bathtub for yeah, a kid. For kids, for sure. But I do like that this seat goes up and down so you can mm -hmm. decide whether you want to use it or not. I like that the little storage cubies thingies, whatever you want to call them, are open so that the water can drain out. And then of course, this new large and in charge shower head with like multiple shower heads and stuff looks pretty awesome. We haven't used it, so we don't know. And then there's a couple of hooks here. One thing I did notice that I might not be a fan of in this bathroom is that I can only see this much. <laughs> that mirror it's goes a little away. high, huh? <laughs> that mirror. It's not a short person mirror. It's not a short person mirror. So do I need a step stool to be in here and do my hair? I think I might. Even though I don't like that the mirror is up a little too high for me, it's better for washing your face because right now ours comes a little lower and I like I hit my head, right? But here you can at least get in, get your face in there. You've hit your head enough recently. <laughs> I do love this backsplash. This is new. And then there is more storage in this bathroom Bonus. because- It goes way back. It goes way back. I can't even reach the back of it. Again, shorty problems, but it's huge. And then storage cubes here. You could put some cute baskets or whatever. And then storage underneath the sink similar to what we have already. There's only one outlet that I see. So I wish there was one more outlet in here. I'm used to living with one outlet in the bathroom now. So, um, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Uh, you'll notice there is no climate control like we have on our wall because that's just a temperature sensor oh. and everything is controlled in the one control, which we'll show you in a minute. Okay. There's the one control here because this is no longer a tech cabinet, it's an actual cabinet. It's a cabinet cabinet. Cabinet cabinet. And let's just see what this looks like. I can tell you right now that I'm gonna need reading glasses to use that thing, unless there's a setting that can make it larger. Yeah, there's probably a setting in there somewhere, but so yeah, now you can see all the AC controls and everything are here. It's just like with ours, it's awesome. Having everything in one thing and it's also a detriment because you've got to wake it up and do stuff but i've seen online what a lot of people do is they will hook up an ipad and put it up there because the ipad interface is a lot faster hopefully lippert can do something about the speed on that this one doesn't seem too bad though one of the major things that they have changed and improved in the living area is the fact that there's no more carpet no more carpet Yay! that's nice it looks it looks really nice and there's no step up ledge anymore over here because ours has a pretty high ledge that's sort of hard to keep clean and it's kind of hard to get the vacuum up there and stuff so this is nice it's all one cohesive floor which i like a lot and our next rv will have one of those this we're not ready to talk about that yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the cabinets are about the same as far as space and size, but you can see that this middle one comes out and that's to give that cabinet space in the bathroom more depth. So that's why this one sticks out a little yeah. bit more, but that's smart, right? See, it's, up, it's up there. The huh? Top, the top half is, yeah. is the bathroom store. Yeah. All of this is pretty much exactly the same as what we had before. Yeah. There's your- That is exactly the same. box. I like these counters a lot better. They just seem thicker. I like them a lot too. I like this island a lot. This is also different. They went with the two-tone and the more updated models. So the island is a gray and then the cabinets are a little bit of a, a mocha or whatever you want to call it. It's like tile. a shiplap look, yeah. which is cool. I, mean, I like that tile backsplash. I like the tile backsplash too. The sink is different now. Who knows what it looks like under here? Let's see. Water Some bottle. garbage. But this sink, mask. yeah. <laughs> so this sink is a farm sink, but I like because they put a small divider in here. So you can use it as one giant sink if you want to, but you can also have separate wash spaces if you'd like to do that as well. What's cool about the shape of this one compared to the shape of ours is that it's a, a rectangle. Ours is some wonky kind of overly weird thing. Like a P shape. And those roll out metal drying racks don't fit on ours, but they will fit on this one. So that's cool. The faucet is a new faucet. I don't not like it, but I'm not a big fan of this black. I don't think it's really better or worse really, but it's different. And then remember I said that they 
listen to us when it comes to that little flip up on the dresser, I think they listen to us in here too. Because I got really frustrated with trying to get to my cleaning products on this bottom shelf in our RV. I still have that problem. And look. A drawer. <laughs> Genius. And again, trash receptacle container area. Fridge. Oh, these two things are some of my favorite things. <laughs> I want them so bad. So residential fridge, as Chad mentioned, this is going in our next RV whenever that may be that we get it. But I want it and I want it right now. Look at it. Oh, oh it feels nice too. <laughs> yeah. This freezer, holy moly, look at this. So deep. It's giant. It's taped, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that, but it's it's giant. Speaking of giant, look at that oven. Bam. I have made your oven envy, you guys. Oh, look at weird. that. I could put a turkey in that thing. Or two I, frozen pizzas. Or two frozen pizzas. <laughs> no, but so we use our oven and our stovetop all the time. And I've gotten used to it, but this is a residential style four burner. I have three little tiny burners and this, you could really only use one, this maybe is, two. This is nice. This, this is, is super so nice. cool. I want it. So because I think that they had to eliminate the window right here mm -hmm. like we have to make this slide bigger to fit this awesome stove they were able to make this counter space larger so is it okay if i gave a little background on how they did that or why sure no you're not allowed to talk <laughs> can, I, can i talk no can we talk you may or may not know that RVs used to kind of come under HUD rules, like a tiny house. And there was a cutoff of like 400 square feet whereby it would fall into a different category. And that's why they had to artificially keep some of these slides smaller. That's why the bed slide is now bigger. That's why this kitchen slide is now wider. Uh, so just a little background on that. Cool. This isn't any bigger, but it's just as big and it's humongous. Our pantry is stocked. Packed. Packed. And so this is just as big. I love it. It's going to be just as packed if we ever upgrade to this. Okay. If you watched our video, you know that's the toilet paper repository. Oh. Oh. Yeah. A lot of room for toilet paper up there. You know what I failed to mention? These really cool light fixtures. Oh, those are nice. I want to change that yellow. I don't like that yellow. How do we change the colors? Who picked yellow lights? This is a good test to see how you can friendly well, this is. Yeah, but I can't re I can't see it because lights, kitchen under, lower accent. Am I, what am I missing? I don't know. Lighting, okay. accent lighting. Okay, there. There we go. All right, <laughs> let's show them the, these new light fixtures, which are awesome. I love them. Excellent choice. All right. Let's move on real quick because it's getting dark outside and we got some dinner to get. Get to. We have this new table, which is awesome. It is. It's got a little extender there at the end. The chairs are a nice light color, which I really like. I like that the table is one solid color. Ours originally had that little weird insert thing that was kind of made to look like marble, but it was plastic. Didn't really care for it that much. So I'm happy that we have this table now. The bar stools are lighter in color. Ours are really dark espresso. Yeah, I like those. I like these a lot better. They're a, they're a thinner profile. They're wider, but they don't stick out as much. So I do like those. The sofa is a little bit lighter in color than the one that we have. And it's a little bit more of a durable material. So it doesn't feel like pleather and it doesn't seem to be the kind that is going to flake off. I don't know if it will or not. But ours has never flaked off, so I don't know what's up with that. But they do have the heat, the massage, the vibration. They <laughs> recline, of course. And then over here, they have a new fireplace now, which there's none of that loud beeping anymore. <laughs> yeah, turn it on. It looks really cool. Ours, when you turn it on, makes an obnoxious loud beep. There we go. And it, and it didn't go beep hours works fine it's just noisy when you try to make the settings and so if somebody's in the bedroom and they're sleeping and i want to come out here and turn on the fireplace it's beep 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 they carried the shiplap over here instead of that weird uh fake 
stone. Yes. That we got. Yes. And then of course the cabinets are still the same. Same loft, by the way. Let's go to the garage. So the garage is a foot bigger. It's 13 feet, six inches compared to ours is what? 12, 12 six? six, I think. Ours is roughly 12, six. So it's a bigger garage. The Happy Jack benches are a two-toned, different style. And then way back there are the three season doors now. Yeah, still an option. Yes. These are the ones like we have now. We replaced the ones that had the Velcro plasticky stuff. These have the glass in it, so it's nice. This should also have the new Lippert weatherproof door. Oh yeah, that's right. The, the, the ramp, yeah. Still has the queen size mattress and the benches that turn into a bed and the table, just like ours. And then the bathroom is the same back here, full bath. Bathroom slash storage area. <laughs> we use our shower for storage. Nice big shower head. Oh yeah. Okay. Is the cabinet the same? Yeah, cabinet, well, everything, everything. I mean, decor-wise, it's a little different, but... Yeah. Some things that are different on the outside is the graphics are new. Mm -hmm. uh, two-tone graphics. Also, the skirt has two-tone graphics now. It's not just plain black. Yeah, the graphics have totally been upgraded, I think, and they look so much cooler. They, they look really good. I mean, if you're not going to get full body paint, you won't be disappointed with the graphics. They're nice. We don't have a light on our steps either. No, that little, that. That little, that little light just came on. Yeah. Look at that. That's I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how, how, it got, how it got triggered. It just came on by itself. One thing that stayed the same that we love in our 397 is this whole slide of windows. When it's light outside, it really opens up the place. You don't feel so claustrophobic. You don't feel like you're in less than 400 square feet because you can see all of this outside. In that, hasn't changed and I love that. So. Another thing that's different is they have bright LED lights above the fuel door on this side and also over on this side. And just like on ours, they also have it on the back. What's cool about that is it comes on when you put your truck in reverse. So if you're backing into a camping spot at night, you've got 270 degrees of nice, well-lit background back there. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Additionally, the slide fascia, which is the stuff on the sides, is now white instead of black. So I think that'll help too, just reflect some heat. So, yeah, and it's also just a more cohesive it, Yeah, it looks a lot look nicer. It doesn't, doesn't break up that nice white. Right. So all in all, I think that the changes that they've made are improvements. Yes. Except that bathroom door. <laughs> yeah. But that's just a subjective yeah. style thing or they're preference. There's going to be some people who like that. Yeah. I think overall, if we had to pick this RV versus our RV, even with that door, I think it would be this RV. Mm -hmm. it's, I really like the improvements. I like the decor too. I mean, you know, I'm a dude, but I, I like this two-tone contrast. Kind I of like the solid floor, no carpet. That yeah. carpet drives me nuts. So mm -hmm. I like that they're no longer doing that. I love the oven, I love the refrigerator, Those I love the awesome. lights, I love so much about it. Great job, guys. Mm -hmm. I think that the 397 is even more awesome than it was when we bought ours. For sure. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. Need an RV, no plans, just you and me. I need to go somewhere.